is up guys, Andy Gamma Rachel here, and welcome back to Sword of Vermilion for the Sega Genesis. I made my way to the town of Stow, or Stow, after finishing up the Deepdale area and getting my ring from the king there. It was kind of a pain in the ass because the king had the habit of um, dressing as a commoner and walking around town to see how, I guess, what he's doing right and what he's doing wrong to see how the people live and all that, and to lure him out I had to go mushroom hunting in the, some freaking cave nearby. And he gave me the... what did he give me? Ring of Wind. Now, I did pass a cave on the way here, but I skipped it for Gnaw. Because raisins and such. I was already pushing like 30-something minutes and I did, really didn't want to have to go through like a whole nother freaking cave. Which I will have to go back to it anyway. I'm just checking out the town, like I always do. Or, oh, um, once it goes off. I don't know, it's too fast for some reason. Going to church. Who's in the church? Good morning. Excuse me, please. I'm very busy. Man, I'm doing church things. Church, 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 church. Is that really fast? Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's very fast for some reason. I don't know why that doesn't seem like it's fast. Are you also very, very busy? And my acolytes downstairs? Too busy to talk, but we're polite. Wait, so you're in charge? Not the one that's, like, the priest doing the priest thing? Because it's like, in the Catholic Church, it's the priest or the pastor that's in charge. And then he has his deacons. And his, um, I guess altar boys, technically, too, but... Ring of Fire is found in our land. Okay, okay. Deacon and... God, I can't think of the other one. That's a thing. Our king is a good man who detests evil. Eh? I don't hear very well anymore. That's... I'm sorry? King is a good man who detests evil, okay? What is in the restaurante? I can never actually order shit here, but... You didn't come here to eat, did you? Uh... You have a fucking restaurant. It is empty. No! Come back! I just want to speak into you! Oh, no, child! I'd like to play a game? No, I... I actually don't like children. Not like I hate or despise children, it's just I don't like being around them. So your fortune, money's good. He has 50 chems. I've got like 50,000. See a pretty girl turning into a horrible monster. Yeah, that's not foreshadowing. That's exactly foreshadowing. Oh god, everyone's too fucking busy to spreck into me. Why? Why are you too busy? Why? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't need two gnome stones. <gasps> you can go. <laughs> Griffin wing. Let's be teleport. Fucking yes. Until I get my goddamn port spell. Actually, I might not even get the teleport spell. It's just uh, when I come back in here, I'll just make sure I have like two or three or something. There's no equipment shop? I can't speak with you now. I'm looking for a button. I 
as I pass it off. I don't know. And what do you have for magic? Ooh, Copperos. Ooh. I think I have Volti already. Copperos, that's the next level fire spell. And Edo. So, Fedos can go. Ready the arrow spell. Yes. Okay, Krokodoke. Really no equipment shop? I guess not. Okay, no, I guess no equipment shop. Okay. That's fine. I think it's good, man, to test evil. Okay. Excuse me, I'm busy. Oh my god, everyone's so busy. So busy. Excuse me, I'm busy. Oh my fucking god. You people suck. You suck so hard. With teeth and all that. Shit. Don't want to talk to me because my fucking hair is blue. You bastards. Why is his hair blue? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. level. Yeah, like 6,000-ish. Slime! <laughs> Nutter slime. <laughs> oh my god, they jumped my ass. Like a black slime hit for like a lot. Like, holy shit. Uh, I'm right here. Let me see. Stuff. Let's see if I hit my next level before I actually go into the cave. I just need like a couple thousand more. And level 15. Ooh, and right here too. Oh. Uh, I dump. A lanthorn. Mushroom, I fought these already. I think I did. But oh no, not that one. That one shoots a thing at me. And that's what arrow looks like. Shoots up air blade thingy, which is very, very nice. Oh, I don't like those. Ow. Holy crap. Okay, those were Cyclopsises. Cyclopides? I don't know the plural of Cyclopsises. Cyclopi? 
Cyclopses. Cyclopes? Cyclopes? Oh god, that's another new one. Holy shit. Ah, uh, no. More Cyclops is this is this is holy fucking shit. I kind of want my next healing spell now. Shit. I do have a couple of medicines, but it's not the point, I guess. Like five pits to kill one of those. Holy crap. Meh. Four hits, whatever. Help. Thank you. I was not dealing with that. A whole bunch of those mushrooms that stand stationary and throw spores out in like a eight directional pattern. There was like a full thing of them. I'm like, oh fuck that. You a hoe. Another one. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, that was just a regular one. So many mushrooms. Okay, that one was just a... Oh my fuck! Mike, you done? There's money! 850 Kim. Jesus. So much green ass. Was any for my level? 180,000, so I need another, like, 30,000 something. Huh. to see something with a skeleton armor. They do have cursed equipment in here. And I don't remember what the cursed armors are. I think one's called the old Nick armor. Fuck. And I think one... that Skeleton armor might be the other cursed one. I want to say maybe possibly. Uh, 
Oh god, excuse me. Motherfucker. time. So many mushrooms. Hello, would you like to buy a book of Sanguio spells? So only a thousand kims. Yes, thanks. When you come back, I'll try to have more neat stuff for you. And what this is, is technically the max, like, healing spell. Look at my MP. I didn't even look at it. 39. All of your lost hit points have been regained. 37. 2 MP to cast that spell. Hmm. Why would this child person have such an item? Oh, please don't fucking waste it. Okay. Okay. Use a gnome stone. Griffin wing. Okay, so it takes it to the last town you've been to. Okay, so it's not an actual full warp spell. Okay, let me go ahead and heal up. And then I'm gonna do some grinding, because that... All that shit was a pain in the ass. Holy crap. And I'll just take advantage of that, like, fucking awesome heal spell I have. Because, guess what? You don't get to keep it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that off-screen real quick, like... Okay, so I did a lot of grinding back in that cave. <laughs> it didn't take me as long as I thought it was. Uh, they give me the most XP there. The mushrooms give at least 224. The ones that kind of, like, um... Uh, follow you around and all that other shit. Uh, the ones that shoot the 361, I think it's like 370, or, I'm sorry, 270, and the... One that, um... It's just that homing one at you is like 330 something. And then the Cyclops is, 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 you have like 170. So, yeah, that took a while. I got four levels. I should be raring to go. So, that spell book you picked up, the Sanguio spell, that is a spell that you will never get. So, that's why I tell you to take advantage of that spell. Full heal for 2 MP. That's crazy, right? And you was wondering why a little girl would sell that in the middle of a cave. You actually find out... I think I actually kind of said it already, but... Let's go talk to the king and see if he has anything new to say. Everyone says, I'm busy. I can't, I can't talk now, I'm busy. Because they're looking for something. I've heard of you. You're the young warrior who's collecting rings. Because you're trying to rid of a terrible evil, I'll give you my ring. Say, it's my book of Sanguio spells, so you're the thief. I'll take that. Easy to proclaim your innocence. But can you prove it? I'll keep your rings to ensure that you don't just run off. So, yeah, the thing that, you know, they're too busy to help you, uh, because they're looking for a spell book that he lost, that that little girl acquired and stole. And so now he thinks you stole the damn thing. So now, hoi, yeah, okay, and you're back here to her. What they said, I stole the book of Sanguio spells. No way, please believe me. No, bitch, you a thief. It's true, I did steal it. I just borrowed it for a moment. Ha 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 ha. And this horrible fucking nightmare. Holy shit. Damn it.
3,000 give 3,000 XP. Okay, motherfucker. I'm sorry. I make a living selling things that I steal. I'm so grateful that you've shown me the error of my ways. I will go to Stowe and show them how much I regret my past mistakes. Uh-huh. Past mistakes, my ass. Good, this happened in Stowe. Let me go ahead and just, like, he I can heal up, can't I? Yes, he's still super cheery. Almost at like 100,000 gold, by the way. I mean, Kim's, whatever. Like, what happened here? That's like two heads. Yeah. Don't let the monster kill us. Looks like he, she, it, or <coughs> already almost did. Please help us. <coughs> help me make the monster go away. Because you really are innocent. Yes, like I fucking told you. I mean, all you had to really do is just say. No, I didn't steal the book. I bought it from a chick. In a cave, which is very suspicious. Thank heavens you're here. It was horrible. Or they say in Spanish, horrible. Because French and Spanish are both Latin based. Because fuck all reasoning for that, I guess. Also, it's so powerful that we cannot resist it. Yeah, he was only hitting me for like one damage. I'm four levels higher than I was. Also, um, turns out the skeleton armor is not cursed, and it is better than the crystal armor. So, there's that. We were attacked without warning. So, think I'm a thief now, motherfucker? The monster appeared to be a little girl. We suspected nothing until it attacked. It took your rings to Asti's cave. I'm sorry I doubted you, Eager. Worry about us later. Get those rings before they're brought to Sarkon. Tavern Keeper has a map to Asti's cave. Tavern Keeper? Oh, the, um, restaurant person thing. Derp -derp 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 -derp. I told you motherfuckers. I didn't steal your goddamn spell a book. It's going to be a little long of an episode because I want to do two caves for this one. I just want to get this whole section done in like one go. But I am cutting out battle, so I'm about to ask his cave. No, you're not the fortune teller. You're, you're psyche, you fucking tell me. I, I, I hate when people like try to scam with bullshit like that, like psychics and whatnot. Now don't get me wrong, my book is based on like paranormal stuff, like abilities and whatnot. That's like a big premise of it. But, you know, it's, it's bullshit, you know? You can't actually do stuff like that in real life. But the ones that, like the, like in real life, like the quote-unquote psychics and all that other stuff. Though I'm not saying like they're all bullshit, but the ones that charge you like an absorbent or exuberant amount of money to give you some vague-ass message that like your loved one has for you. And all that shit. Ooh, I hate scorpions. Well, the animal, not the, the band. The band's fucking like kick ass. Ooh, a blue one. You're blue.
trying to detach those, I think those can poison you as well. Hello. God damn, those fuckers can still hit for 30. Ruby brooch? Actually, yeah, go ahead and just drop one of these. I don't remember what that does. Does it something? You know, it's like... I've been to a psychic fair. When I lived in Texas. Because my sister was kind of into that. And she wanted me to go with her for like a birthday thing. And so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll go. And I'm seeing all of these vendors selling crystals and quote-unquote charms and amulets and talismans and all this crap. They're saying it'll attract good luck or, you know, banish negativity and all that other shit. And And, like, all this other junk that they're claiming it can do, and it's just... So I went just for the sake of go God fucking damn. So I went for the sake of going for her. And And so I didn't buy anything, at least like charm wise. But there was a person there saying, like, like get your aura photo taken for like 35, 40 bucks or some shit like that. And I'm like, fine, I'll humor you. So I got my aura take, my, again, quote unquote, aura photo taken. And she hands it to me, and it's like filled with like pinks and purples and blues and violets and shit like that. And I hand it to her, and she's like translating like what it means and all that other shit. And then she's telling me, oh wow, you're surrounded by love and like, a and compassion and all this other stuff, and you're, you must be in a very loving relationship with your significant other, and I'm like, um, lady, this was back in 07, by the way, I'm like, lady, the last girlfriend I had was like, almost four years prior to that, I don't have anyone, she's like, well, that's not what this photo's saying, I'm like, okay, your photo's full of shit. As of 07, my last girlfriend was in 03. I haven't been with anyone since then. And she became super defensive. Oh my god. Oh my god. And she became super defensive when... Oh, new skeleton. She became super defensive when I called out her bullshit. It's like, you're trying to sit there and tell me you know, what the fuck's what of my relationships, or in this case, a lack thereof. And so I just called you on your bullshit, because it's, it's fucking bullshit. And that another lady there, that was doing readings. Ooh, Royal Shield. I don't remember, she, like, looks into your, I forgot what the fuck she called it. Five hundred one. Five hundred six. That's a little bit better. I forgot what the fuck she called it, but basically the way that she tried to explain it to me was she can view your soul and tell you about your past and all that other shit, and then she was trying to again called her out on her crap. 
who called her out on her crap. God damn it! Saying that, oh, she saw, like, when I was in my, um, motorcycle accident. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I've never been in a motorcycle accident. I've never even been on a motorcycle. I'm like, what the fuck past are you viewing? Then she tried to say, oh, this was an, like a fucking, from like, a alternate dimension or like a, a alternate timeline or some bullshit. I'm like, lady, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Like, who the fuck are you kidding? And so called her out on her bullshit, too. I thought I saw something here. I just kept going and just didn't. So it's like two for two. Uh, got it wrong. And I'm like, you people can't be fucking serious with this. You know, two of you got your information wrong? Like, very seriously wrong. And that's not even counting this, like, thing that my sister tried dragging me to one time. I, I don't even know what the hell it was supposed to be. Some kind of circle group or something. For, like, releasing your fears. God damn it. Because Jesus Christ. A lot of you may not know. I Why even talk? Oh, fuck it. Because a lot of you may not know, I have arachnophobia. And so I went to this thing and they pulled out this like giant fucking spider and like an acrylic something or another, I don't fucking know, and I wanted nothing to do with that. I knew it was dead. And preserved in the thing. I still wanted nothing to do with it other than to fucking yeet it into the universe. And he said, we can help clear your energy and eliminate your fear. I'm like, okay, how the fuck do you do that? And then two, again, quote unquote, aura cleansers came and started waving their hands over me. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And they're like, we're clearing your energy to remove your block on your whatever the fuck chakra. I don't know. I don't give a shit about that. To get rid of your fear. I'm like, uh-huh. By waving your hands over me, I felt nothing. So nothing was happening physically that I can tell. And, you know, say, okay, it's all done. It's gone now. Really? Because I still want nothing to fucking do with that giant fucking spider. And I still do not like spiders. So again, bullshit upon bullshit upon bullshit. Now I'm not saying all of them are bullshit. Because not all of it is bullshit. Like, okay, like crystals for example. They say like, oh this crystal will do this thing, or this crystal will do that thing. I don't believe that, but certain crystals do have like a certain vibration, if, I guess that's like the right word to use, that they've tested under like some funky special science equipment, that like, crystal, like this crystal does this thing, this crystal does that thing, now whether it heals or clears your negativity or whatever the crap, I, I don't believe that. But other things like light therapy, that does work. Like certain light will like help with certain things, like helping you sleep, getting rid of headaches, things like that. There's actual science behind those things, not, oh, if I carry this stone with me, I'll attract like positivity and all that. How and why would that happen? And I'm sorry if I'm going on like a big rant about that. It just stuff like that. Especially the ones that try to, like, take advantage of you. You know, it just gets on my fucking nerves. Hello, so we meet again. I reported to King Sarkon of Cartania that you're collecting rings. Oh yes, I have your rings. You have to kill me to get them. And basically just rinse, repeat. And 
And okay, wow, you hit a lot harder this time. 5,000 came at 5,000 XP. Oy vey. Oh god, okay. There's a lot of shit to do. Yeah, again, I didn't mean to, like, rant on like that, but just, like, stuff like that just gets on my damn nerves. Good, the rings are safe. I'm really sorry, but I have a favor to ask of you. There are so many wounded townspeople that we desperately need a doctor. The town of Keltwick, northeast of here, lives a famous Dr. Basil. Would you please bring him to us? Here's a map of the route to Keltwick. Okie dokie. I was gonna go and just run to the next town, but you know what? This is actually good for now. So I'm gonna call it here at my nearer level. Kinda sorta ish. I'll probably just go and hit up level 21. Highest level is 31, by the way, in case I didn't mention it before. I have 122,000 Kim. That's a lot of money. I believe they do have stuff in the next town that I can buy, so that would be a nice upgrade for me. So when we come back, I'll be level 21, and then I'll make my way to Keltwick and. Uh, uh, find the doctor person, bring her back here, and then just go from there. So until then, this is Indie Gamma Retro on Sword of Vermilion. Later, guys.